yeah, I think something like that. <laughs> What's your question again? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this one will cut off. <laughs> no worries. Though. I need to think a bit. No worries. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Gary Lim from Property Lim Brothers, and we are back for another So Far So Good series, this time with episode eight, correct? And this time we have Renee Lim on us. Hi, with- guys. My name is Renee. I'm from Lemon Fish Studio. Yeah, yeah, she's the co-founder and designer over there, and they have a pretty big and expanding team right now. And with this episode, we're going to find out more about the design side of things. You know how with property, there's it is also tied in with design, right? When a home buyer, home seller uh, proceeds on to their next journey in their property life. So maybe, Renee, you can share with us, how was 2021? Mm, 2021, um, we see a lot of uh, trends like uh, people buying a lot of resale, um, a lot of upgraders, um, I think the reason being is that uh, there's a lot of backlog on the BTO side, so people don't want to wait, you know, like uh, last time it used to be 3-4 years, now it can go up to 7 years. So there's a lot of uh, resale house buyer, so we are doing a lot of resale home, a lot of upgraders. We have seen like, you know, uh, HDB owners uh, getting condos, getting um, landed, you know, and stuff. So, um, and also because of the pandemic, a lot of them are very focused on home, you know, um, spending time at home, spending time with families. Uh, they, they, they want more quality products for their home. Um, they, they also, uh, we have a lot of homeowners uh, 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 think, thinking about hosting because they spend a lot of time at home. Sometimes they want to host you know, some friends. Gatherings. Gathering, okay. yeah. They spend a lot more time dining at home due to the you know, pandemic restriction and everything. So um, it also affects how we design the house. You know, like uh, they need to have more space to host, a nicer kitchen, <laughs> a better kitchen, you know, so that they can host their friends. So yeah, so that is some of the trends that you know, we have been seeing in 2021 for the home renovation. All right, speaking of which, maybe you can share with us um, about Lemon Fridge. Mm. What do you all specialize in? Scandinavian? Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, so if you guys have checked out our Instagram, so uh, uh, it would be quite obvious that you know, our, our, our style, how we started out uh, uh, this design concept for our company is that we want something more timeless. Yeah, because we always believe that a, a design should always be timeless mm. and not very trend basis and it should always um, be based on a home homeowner characteristic you know like if they travel a lot they want to like you know display all, all their you know uh, uh, paintings they bought overseas you know, and stuff and we feel that Scandinavian is one uh, 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 one design that is versatile so we can go very minimalist with Scandinavian we can also go a bit luck- luxurious with Scandinavian also. So uh, uh, that's, that, that's how we decide that, you know, uh, I mean, it also speaks to us, I mean, this, this kind of uh, design. So uh, that's how we decide, you know, based mm. on uh, a Scandinavian look for a lemon fish studio. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, that's, that, yeah. that was the research that I, <laughs> I made when uh, we were talking about lemon fridge and then uh, Scandinavian was the top, top core yeah, design for yeah, the company. Yeah, the core. Yes, I, I'm pretty yes. sure that you all have um, you have expanded in certain yes. places, yes, but uh, correct, that correct. still remains as your yes, core. Uh. Yes, that's, that's our core, but we are also flexible. We always like to, as a designer, I think you know, fellow designers will agree, we always like to push our boundaries. Mm. Yeah, so if we have a, a client come to us and say, you know, uh, they, they, they want a, a, a Colombian design, mm-hmm. You know, or a Mediterranean design, yeah. you know, we are more than happy to you know, take, take on that, that, that challenge. And uh, yeah, so uh, we have a few uh, designers, a few projects, you know, that we stepped out of the Scandinavian boundaries mm-hmm. and did quite okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what with the, with the trends in 2021, mm. how, I think it's, it's better to also ask, mm. what's the pros and cons of Scandinavian? Because as much as we look at the design, mm. um, there's going to be some benefits and uh, disadvantages mm, um, mm, to mm, it, right? Because mm. at end of the day, it has to be practical too. Yes, yeah. correct, correct. Okay, for Scandinavian design, it's very suitable for a typical Singapore house. 
whole house size mm. um, PTO HDB but uh, I would feel that if uh, homeowner upgrades like I say recent years we have seen a lot of upgraders you know, if they move to penthouse mm. or a, 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 a larger space um, Scandinavian might not speak too much to the owner's characteristic might not bring out you know, the space of the home so uh, it really depends on the, 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 the space Mm. you know that uh, that we are working with so um, because we focus a lot on uh, home re- like HDB home residential and everything so mm. uh, the pros is that it's really suitable for them but it's not really very suitable for all, all, all sizes okay yeah because some uh, some houses that are really big in areas you need a lot more details true we need to play with a lot more materials that's when Scandinavian Scandinavian are more simple but that's why it's, 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 it's suitable for small space yeah yeah but for bigger space when we, we need to like you know bring out the character the, the space the character of the the house mm. you know we, we need to play with a lot more materials so. I, I think it's uh is it safe to say that for example Scandinavian is more catered towards the more compact uh, mm. houses mm. because mm. because of how minimal it is minimal and very clean yeah 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 okay. the, the 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 color the color is always uh, uh um very uh basic very uh uh, uh how to say it's like uh, more uh new uh the, yeah the color palette is pretty neutral neutral and, yeah i couldn't yeah. find the word neutral <laughs> <laughs> yes so the uh for scandinavian color is very neutral it's always um quite uh wood uh, mm. Grey, so it's the neutral tones. Yeah, yeah. You you wouldn't see a lot of like harsh colors, you know, like sure. um, dark black, you know, that, that that kind of thing, or or a lot of gold. You know, or granite, the kind of. Or granite, kind of granite. Yeah. yeah, or very exotic stones. Okay. Yeah. So Not too much check texture to kind of bring bring away the the, the mm, element of the, the cleanness. Yes. Mm. Yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, big uh, big spaces would need that kind of detail, mm. you know, like exotic stones. Uh, um, uh, material glass and everything to to give the space more character. Okay. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for yeah. sharing with us. Welcome. Okay. Finish already. Oh, I'm finished already. Yeah. No lah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the next the next question I got uh-huh. since since we 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 are on this topic. Mm. So back in 2021 last year, which mm. was just a few months back, mm. um, we realized that there's a lot of interest in kitchen space mm. and um, how they actually. Um, how how they want to work to work as a family, you know, they always yes. want to have more play, uh, more space to work yes. around. And yes. um, while count, island counterpart tops, right, uh, always a thing. Mm. Um, what do you foresee of in twenty twenty two? I think for kitchen ma- kitchen trends. Yeah, I think it's still um, a lot based on. Uh, kitchen solutions more than the material and mm. the design okay. yeah because uh, 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 if it's for someone that really likes to host mm. cooks the workflow is very important yes, yes. Yeah. Um, the kitchen solutions that you know like uh, the, the, the condiments rack you know mm. the uh, uh, how how high is the oven going to be? Chest know, level, stuff chest like that. level. You know, uh, uh, because if you bake a lot, mm. you know, then you would prefer something you do where you don't have to keep bending down. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you bake a lot, mm. probably you want to explore uh, stones like marble mm. because it, it's colder on touch. So bakers would prefer a uh, stone rather than a uh, wood countertop. Not so much of a trend, but a lot more on the lifestyle of the homeowner, and then we will cater to that. Mm. Yes, but uh, it's true the trend for island counter is still there because of the pandemic. <laughs> People want to host. Yeah, okay. they want to open up the kitchen. Yeah, so that they you know they can like you know have friends gather, have a More cookout. Like, yeah, like yeah, cook together and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. I I heard um recently there was uh, someone who shared with me uh. that they actually do like bakwas in their own home mm. so they, mm. they, they they go and make their own bakwa yeah. and then sauce out and then they make themselves yes <laughs> yes yes, yes. Have, you, have you done it before? <laughs> uh, uh, personally no but we have clients that you know yeah. done that because I think it's the same thing because of the pandemic a lot of things actually it really affects a lot of things sure. so people are, are spending more time at home they explore baking you know the mm. different things that can cook big tarts cakes you know yeah. the puffs and everything so uh, um, a lot more focus on the functionality of the kitchen yes. and space especially right. and the reason for islands because they can open up the space and also depend on the kind of things that they are cooking so yeah. it really de- depends on the lifestyle it's all like. subjective as well all subjective because if you are the kind that cooks uh, Chinese 
food like you know those zi like zi cha right yeah. <laughs> yeah. then you will like you you will need to uh, close up the space yeah. have a flexibility to like have a glass up then when you need you can open up and that kind of thing yeah because so if not you you're gonna you're gonna make smoke your up the whole your living room will become oily <laughs> and then it will become quite um, yes <laughs> yes 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 so <laughs> yeah yeah so uh. uh is is more than trend we feel a lot of times over these few years we feel that it's the correct it's the it's the lifestyle of the owner sure. yeah okay so mm. with with that in mind right mm. that um the trend is to spend more time at home uh, mm. with your your missus or, or and the quality yeah. quality of the material or, yeah and uh we do have homeowners that uh, uh look for statement worktops so they are exploring more exotic countertops mm. you know because they they this place is going to be the place where she's where uh, the homeowner is going to spend a lot more time mm. with their friends and everything. So it's my canvas, like, in yes, the way, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's what you know, like the friends will be spending time. So they they, they are willing to spend on more exotic mm. uh, uh, countertops. Yeah, I think we realized. I think recently, so we had this trend also for the Caesar stone and stuff like that. Yeah, and how it's more. It's more durable yes. and uh, it has that certain weightage, lah. Mm. I, I think, which is Correct. pretty important. Correct. Yeah. Marble, granite, you know, like you know. Uh, very so different from quartz, lah. Yeah. Yes. It's very different. Correct. 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 Okay. So yeah. All right. So moving moving up mm. to a more overview. So mm. aside from the kitchen, mm. um, how does this trend? Because you know how COVID is going to become an endemic, right? Mm -hmm. It is an endemic now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two. How what what do you think are the design trends apart from how Scandinavian may probably stay? Uh, mm. What other design trends that you think will may make a grand entrance in? I do see um, people going um, a lot on the detail, detailing, uh, playing with a lot more different materials, like using steel, using metals. There's no specific uh, 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 design, you know, that 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 I've seen for now. So um, in 2021, we, we, we start to see trends where people combine like the Japanese Muji style oh with yeah. the Scandinavian style. Mm. Yeah, but I think people are moving towards something m more um, quality. It can, it can step a bit into uh, luxury. Yeah, because they are spending more time at home. Mm. People are not traveling. They have yeah. more money so <laughs> now. They, they want the hotel at home. The hotel yes, resort to at home, right? Correct. Okay. They want their bathroom to be like hotels. You know, exactly. because they are spending time at home. Mm. So they 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 want to have a more you know a a a, a luxurious uh, feel like comfort <laughs> like really while you go home like oh, you know like you go to a. a, a a five star hotel. Well, kind why, of stay, thing. why stay K, right? Yeah. You, you can just like yes. stay at home yeah. and just enjoy. Yes. But what about um okay, since you're talking about Lux, right? So mm. before before I let, I, I, I bring mm. you through that, then what about this whole um very greenery? You see you see we have a lot of greenery mm, so mm, and mm, re rattan mm. as well, right? Oh yes. So yes, so what yes, what was yes. the deal with that? Maybe you can share more. We also see a lot of uh, a lot uh, of homeowners that are we believe it's also due to pandemic that people are become uh, be, become very uh what what they call it uh, green fingers yeah correct, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's this trend whereby uh, uh we do have some homeowners uh, uh uh really uh have a lot of plants that they want to display at home yeah that's when we want to put focus on the plants so it really depends on the owner's lifestyle nice. so we'll go with very minimalist you know basically just black white and grey for the house okay nothing much. And then uh, a lot of lights, All right. a lot of space, so that you know, they can uh, feature the, the plants. It's like their babies, you know. Yeah, like yeah. the centerpiece will be like the bonsai, that kind of thing. Yes, uh. correct, correct, yes, correct, yes. correct. All so right. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's true that uh, we, we do see a lot of uh, trend on that. Yeah, mm. where people Personally, are, do you? Do do you are you a green fingers person? <sighs> I'm not a green finger. I'm, I mean, sadly, uh, plants just die on me. I, I don't know why. <laughs> No time lah. Yeah, no maybe. Time. I, I, I I had a fern. Uh, uh, it's called Fre uh, Frederick the fern. Uh, uh. So I, I kept it for about one two years. Mm. Then uh, I brought it back home because uh. it, it was in my office. I brought it back home. Uh. Uh, my wife killed it lah. I don't. I don't have to <laughs> <laughs> Your wife not watching it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know lah. Right? I don't. Know. I think it's a lot of time. You really need. Really need. Yeah. You need to research. You yeah. Know. Like you know, the kind of nutrients this plant requires, like yeah, uh, how many, uh, uh, not too much water, you know that kind yeah. of thing. So you need 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 a lot of time, you know, okay. on that. So it's a it's a nut, It's not that easy, really. So easy. so in terms of design, because um, 
when 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 we sell houses, mm. um, primarily it's always because of the space as well as the leasehold. Um, whereas for for the design, it actually plays a certain portion, especially when it's a move move in ready. So mm-hmm. say for example, mm. it was a Scandinavian design, mm. and then it can actually upsell a certain property, right? Because some some people like it, mm. right? It, it mm. gen- generically. Uh, Scandinavian is pretty well accepted mm. It's not too specific I would say mm. And not too intrusive as well mm, mm. But in your opinion What would be uh, 2022's design for Say a, a living room Cause, Because mm. from, where I'm, from where I'm always looking at The current design is Open island countertop mm. Combines Opens up the space with the living room mm. And then as you've mentioned uh, Study room Right well, mm. it is a requirement because of like the work from home situation. Mm, so, mm. how would you design? How would you anticipate like twenty twenty two's design around this area? Will it be? Will Will it stay? I think it will stay because uh, people are getting sort of getting used or appreciate, you know, the spatial the, the, utilization. Yes, okay. correct. They appreciate like uh, 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 doing work at home or mm. spending time more time at home, you know. Uh, so I think the space portion is will be here to stay. Design portion, I think uh, people start to explore uh, different, uh, like I said before, the, the different material, different uh, 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 details, you know, like curves, mm. you know, like, uh, yeah, I think something like that. <laughs> Alright, so next one, let's uh, dive more into the business side of things. Mm. So, what's the advantage of getting a, an ID on board? Of course, it's always about time, right? Yep, correct. Um, time and also ID are more design focused. Mm. They uh, not only do the design, they help to space plan also. Mm. So, ID will try to understand your lifestyle and build around it and understand what you want. And also, the most important portion is the project management part. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, because that's where ID knows best uh, who should come in first, you know, uh, uh, what should be done first. Like lighting comes first, and after that comes the... Correct, the, right, correct. The design. The, or, or force, uh, 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 you need to put the wire first, then you put the forceling. You put the forceling first, you never do the wire. Yeah. <laughs> then you cannot, For you know. Sure, yeah. yeah, so uh, 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 there are a lot of other details also uh, on, on the on the sequence of how where, where the things should come because it really affects uh, uh, a lot of things, you mm. know, down to the design. So um, as a designer, uh, we we'll always, like I said before, we we'll always try to uh, push our boundaries on design. So sure. when client requ- requires certain things, uh, we'll explore, you know, they see a certain things on Pinterest, you know, that's really nice, that stone, we'll try, to rest, yes, yeah, that. we'll try to source for it, you know, and everything. So uh, it's more of like, you know, getting the whole project done mm. together. So if you are a homeowner and you get, uh, 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 you do it yourself yeah. with various contractors, it can be quite stressful because Very much every so. contractor got their own ways of doing things Correct. and to yeah. put them together, it's not easy. In Malay, it's called langa. Langa. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they langa. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So for, for us, we, we have a you know, group of, of uh, contractors that work well together. You know. mm. So um, it helps uh, to, you know, to execute the whole uh, design and everything for the home. Yeah. Okay. And mm. um, while we're on the topic of, of this getting an ID on board, mm. how's the budget like? Mm. Well, the mm. costing wise for, say, we start from. HDB studio, la, mm, right? mm, studio mm, apartment. Mm, how, mm. how much does it roughly cost like to anticipate? Um, say for three bedders, uh, it, it will be around uh, 35 to 45k there about. But really depends on the material that, you know. The, 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 the extent of there. which you they want to go, la, right? Yes, yeah. correct, correct. But uh, the, the base should be about there, about 40, about 40k. Okay. For a three bed. For three bed, uh, uh, HDB. Yeah. Uh. Mm, HDB, right. correct. What about five, 40, 40 five, uh, five, five room? Uh, five room um, would be 50 ish. Okay, so it's 50 in to 60. Incremental. Yeah, design. incremental. Yeah, 50 to, to 60. Uh, also, depend on how major the renovation is going to be. Like, are you going mm. to change change your 
whole is it a hack? Whole hacking and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, hack off the whole uh, uh kitchen. Uh, no, hack off the whole living room floor. You know, yeah. to redo. You know, and everything. So uh, it really depends. But the base should be about there, mm. about fifty five to sixty k. Okay. Yeah, there about. Condo, condo wise, what about the 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 price difference? Is it? Uh, condo. Uh, okay, because condo comes with kitchen already. Yeah. So usually condo uh uh, to do up nicely, say. Uh, a, a three uh, a, a three room one mm. I think 30k mm. should be there because uh, if say they want to redo the kitchen then that's another another sure. story because the bathroom usually is okay. it's pretty really well done already like. pretty well done yeah, yeah. so it, it really depends they pay for it like, anyway yeah <laughs> correct correct, correct. Yeah. because some, some condos really give like you know, quality tiles you know, yeah over tiles yeah. Uh, so I, I've seen like, those very quality kind of condos so um, usually they wouldn't touch the toilet yeah. you know uh, that's uh, where the bulk of the cost is where for renovation. S- okay. It's, it's kitchen and bathroom. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. Um, while we're on the topic of price, mm. maybe we can share, uh, that was 2022, mm. and we had 2021, uh, we had 2020. What's the, was there a price fluctuation? And alongside the price fluctuation, mm. the time estimation, how has mm. it changed? Right, because uh, when we it, first started, it was pretty sad. <laughs> yes, correct. Yeah. So it really the uh, for the past two years it it, uh, it, it really uh, affects the industry quite a bit, mm. you know, from uh, uh from the lack of manpower. So that will affect the timeline. Mm. So um last time say for a normal BTO like you know, three three beta, four beta, uh it will be f- about uh four to six weeks. But now we can't say four to six weeks anymore. Fast, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's about you know uh uh, uh if you do up the whole house, you know, so, yeah. so you need eight weeks. Eight because, weeks. Mm, okay. Yeah, sometimes if you do up the whole mm. whole place. So uh, it did get better a bit, but uh, it, still, it, it still affects, uh, the, the industry is still, still, we are still quite affected. Still volatile. Uh. Still volatile, okay. yes, correct. So uh, the costing for material also went up. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things went out of stock. <laughs> oh, I yeah, see. Okay. from tiles to hinges. So that's the major portion that will cause the delay in some of the the the, the mm. renovation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Manpower did did recover a bit, but uh, it's it's not as period. It's not as pre COVID situation. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. But 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 this is the thing, right? Because. Um, as as property sellers and buyers, we we do understand that there's this certain uh, constraint, mm. which is why, like you mentioned earlier mm. on, mm. that there's a shift over for resale, mm. right? People mm. rather have a move in because uh, even for landed, mm. our, the wait time for let's say a reno can be up to three years mm. for for A and A alone, mm. and not even mm. a, a full rebuild. So mm. so it's it's really something that we have to live with in a way, mm. and then for. For ID side, mm. where when you're coming to help, mm. I believe that there's a way that you can expedite things, like, Rather than yeah. let's say I want to hire contractors. Like. Uh, yes, yes, yes. That's uh, that's a benefit of getting ID also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, 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 yes, we 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 do we do. Mm. So uh, depends on uh situation, but we always try our best actually. So mm. uh, uh, in certain situation, we 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 are able to you know expedite. <laughs> because we have a, a a group of contractors that work work very well growing that, relationship with us. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. that, that that works with us, and we also appreciate what they have done during these past two years. You know that they have not been home. Yeah. And, and they work so hard. You know during this pandemic period. Yeah. So, yeah. So Good it job. really did uh, help us a bit to prevent major delays for renovation. Mm. So speaking of that, yes. Right. What are what are let's say five pitfalls that you can help. Uh, our viewers mm. to avoid mm, for renovation uh, for renovation say for condo uh, it's actually quite straightforward for new condos for new condos it's, 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 it's quite straightforward like you say because yes. PPVC ma, yes. it's just come yes. out from the box yes. or rather from the, from the it's, it's just about <laughs> how you want to design the space correct yeah. yes and uh, also uh, I think this one a lot of people know that you need to uh, uh, settle the, the, the defects rectification but with the condo oh, yes, site yeah. first. They need to do the, the walk around and to check. Yes, everything. yes. So they uh if they if they are able to get an ID early, you know, they can get them down to 
to, to site visit uh, mm. uh, and see you know what, what, what to look out for you know that kind of thing so that uh, if anything hap- because once we step in to do the renovation then they will not they will not honor the, the, the defects already yeah. yeah so that's 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 the contract becomes defunct already yeah. yes correct mm. so that's one uh, the only thing that uh, uh, I think like, the client should look out for mm. but for resale is different. Ah, maybe we can yes, check. because resale it, the the condo can be like you know like uh, uh, um, for back in the I I I don't know like the eighties you know that kind of thing of. yeah so the the because it's not as standard as HDB mm. so uh, sometimes private developer like con- condos the the way they they do things different they will have. Uh, some sometimes they will have a guest pipe in the middle, in the middle of the kitchen, <laughs> in, in, in of the kitchen yeah. wall, that kind of thing. Then, uh, uh, until we, we go and check it out and everything, then we realize, oh, this there's the pipe there. So, mm. uh, that's when we feel that uh, you need to get an experience ID in mm. to know like you know where where to look out for. Yeah, like, or, or sometimes they, they will feel like, oh, why is this ceiling so low, you know, it's so, it looks so weird and stuff because sometimes they, 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 they put like heater storage, you know, tank oh, inside. I see. Yeah, that kind of thing. So uh, we will we'll try to uh, help them configure. We'll mm. see if we can uh, uh, reposition, you know, the, the tank and everything. So, uh, yeah, resale, resale portion, there's, there's uh, uh, quite a bit of thing, especially when it comes to hacking off the walls. Speaking of speaking of mm. the water heater, right? Mm. The, in our previous episode, there was there was uh, there was a lawyer that came on board and he was talking about water heaters. There's some some uh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. So he was uh, like, a, he said, and and I quote, boom 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 boom. So, <laughs> so it was a big. So it was a flooding. It was flooding oh. from the water heater. Yeah, in 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 a home. And it was a rented uh. home. Oh. So anyway, if you are looking for that, you can actually catch it in the description below. Okay, please <laughs> okay, carry on. Because okay. yeah, 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 I was thinking yeah, about yeah. water heater and, and yeah. the guy was really comical and he's so educational. That's oh. a lawyer, uh, Mr. Anil. Okay, Dawani, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's low. Yeah, so you know, that's the, 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 the kind of things. Uh, different uh, different kind of designs and that yes. are not really, that don't really conform to today's kind of uh, more yes. updated design. Uh, yes, I would say. correct, correct. You know, because right. um, while we're on that topic, because resale, mm. um, when I... Because I, I also do the editorial sometimes and mm. when I ch- check out like the BCA blueprints because mm. you can do the purchase and all that mm. it's so hard to, to find mm. sometimes mm. it's even, even very hard to find mm. all the, the blueprints and, mm. and for yourself mm. wow, yeah, kudos yeah, to yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. so we need to <laughs> yes we need to sometimes the, 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 the management is not even responding you know when we want to check like uh, you know, do, we, do you have to like you know uh, that's that okay. long ago yeah because it's so long ago you know then we have to go to this area to dig, you know, that kind of mm. thing. So, but it's, it's important. That's, mm. you know, where we want to come in to, to help la, the yeah. homeowners. Yeah. I digress. Yeah. So, mm. about the pitfalls. Mm. Yeah. Um, to avoid. To avoid. Uh, yeah. Pitfalls to avoid. Uh, what else? Uh, don't engage an ID to last minute. <laughs> ah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. So, uh, try to plan ahead. Yeah, so uh, uh, so that you know you can uh, have more time, you know, uh, to 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 plan out what you want, mm. and uh, for resale condo, have to site visit. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea have to go on site to see, uh, uh, what to you know look out for. So uh, yeah, that's. That's more or less the, the only thing that they need to do, la. Yes. 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 Mm. What's the eight tips that mm. you have for? A new homeowner getting the BTO flat. Let's say, for example, Fadila gets married, <laughs> then she, <laughs> she, she wants to BTO for a flat. Mm, mm, she BTOs. Mm. So, what can she avoid that that you can advise? Maybe mm. something that we, we, we don't already know. For BTO uh, homeowners, mm. they always like to ask a uh, one question about flooring. Flooring. To opt in for the flooring or opt out for okay. the flooring because uh, 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 there are different types of flooring like you know vinyl flooring, mm-hmm. tiles, you know, or if you want the the, the raw uh, cement screed look, you know. So uh, homeowners sometimes uh, will uh, opt out for the flooring. They save more on the hacking, but not necessary. Sometimes you might not save more if you choose to do vinyl. So, okay, because vinyl is layover. Yes. Okay. So, 
um, it's good that you, 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 you research on the design that you want. So if you know that uh, you, you like the, the, the vinyl look and everything, then opt for the floor so that we can just overlay, overlay to the, on, 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 on the existing, on existing floor. Because mm. if you opt out of the flooring, they will give you the raw floor. You need to screed. Mm. So screening is one cost. And then uh, vinyl is another cost. Mm. Yeah. And uh, uh, vinyl actually um, per square feet cost is a little higher than uh, the, the, the normal range tiles. Okay. Yeah. So that might not be cost saving. Mm, on homeowners but to opt in or opt out so you need to know uh, uh, if, if say you know you want to do tiles but you know you want fancy tiles like marble print marble looking tiles sure. then you opt out for the flooring okay that's when you will do cost saving because we just went straight in mm. to lay the tiles we don't have to you know, do anything like hacking and everything so yeah okay mm, so that's one uh, tips for right. owners on the flooring part mm. Mm. And uh, also uh, another thing is uh, kitchen and bathroom. Uh, we try not to hack the tiles because that will void the warranty. The waterproofing warranty, and, uh, some, okay. yeah. So that's uh, one thing to look out for. <coughs> and also, um, um, it's good that you uh, start early to research on the uh, the the design that you like. Always save. Mm. <laughs> a bunch of photos for your IDs because I do have homeowners that come to me and say oh I like snow Scandinavian but, but, but it will always be good to back it up with some visuals so that both, both of you are very clear on the design that you like yeah. Yeah. sometimes when you describe you, know, you, you, you cannot get a message across yeah. so uh, uh, do your homework you know, save a lot of pictures like try to scroll a bit you know, on the look and feel that you like mm. So, um, what else? And, uh, oh, request for big samples for materials. Big samples? Yes, okay. uh, larger uh, scale samples. Okay. So, when, uh, during renovation, mm. uh, uh, we will have the material selection portion. That's when you choose your laminates, right. your quartz, you know, uh, and uh, your tile and whatnot. So um, usually they will come in a uh, 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 sample size, you know, in the very book. small uh, yeah, yeah, small size. So uh, it's very important that uh, after choosing generally the kind of look and feel you want from the sample, a request for a big, uh, big uh, sample, oh. so that you can see the green. I see. Because I see. sometimes when it's small, you only see a portion of that that grain, especially for quartz and wood. Green, uh, wood green yeah. laminates. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it would be good that uh, uh, you can get uh, uh, a picture, or uh, sometimes uh, there are uh, laminate brands that have like you no know, showrooms at convenience places. Then you can go down and see a full, the full, uh, uh, full size material board. That kind Ma of thing, correct, correct. Okay. Because uh, sometimes it, it really will be like very different when you see the the small the small sample size, mm. and then you come like, oh, it's super grainy. You know, I want something actually. Clean Cleaner. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's one thing. Yeah. So uh, what else? Is it eight? Is it eight already? Haven't. I didn't. I didn't count. Now number two. <laughs> number two. What else? Uh, I think it's largely the same as the condo, the resale condo portion, mm. which site visit is important. Okay. Yeah, okay. BTO, uh, on the contrary, the floor plan would usually be enough because it's quite quite standard. But yeah. uh, a, a, a resale, uh, usually, mm. um, when people buy resale flat, they, uh, they didn't really factor in the renovation costs because resale renovation is higher than BTO, much, much higher. Mm. Because uh, we have met a lot of homeowners um, that see the house and they think that hey, everything is good, you know, it's mm. fine, everything. But you always want to redo the toilet and the kitchen. And that's where part of the cost is. And sometimes they don't expect the renovation to be so expensive for resale flat because um, resale, say a uh, 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 three to four room, uh, minimally is f uh, 55, 60K. Mm. Yeah, it's easily a, a 10, 20k more, more than a usual BTO. So it's also about safety, correct? It's mm. about safety as well. Mm. 
safe safety pinning. Ah, uh, like say for example, sometimes they they depending on the on the resale. Oh, the condition, on the condition, the wiring, yes, the yes, piping, correct, the plumbing, correct, sorry. correct, correct, and yeah. yeah, and most of the time we have to redo the the wiring for the resale portion. Mm. Yeah, so uh, on first look, the resale that the flat might look fine to you, you know, like hey, it it still looks uh, in good condition and everything, but most of the time we have to redo everything, especially especially yes, the wire you need know, to redo the wiring, piping, mm-hmm. redo the piping. Uh, because it has been there for like 10, 20 years already, so you know we want to redo the piping. And mm. like I said just now, the kitchen and the toilet have I do I haven't seen any homeowner that tells me that they can live with the kitchen and toilet <laughs> for reason. Really? Uh, very little. Okay. Like maybe like less than five percent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Unless it's been recently renovated. Ah uh, yeah, unless recently renovated. But okay. most of the homeowner would want to redo the toilet or kitchen. How much would you um uh, speculate say for example a uh, four room flat um, mm. I bought just let's say I bought a resale mm. how much will it roughly cost to minimally top up Min- the, the the renovation side of things minimally yeah 50k minimally okay with with, with ID la, with an ID with yeah. an ID okay minimal. that is like really really mini- <laughs> really minimal <laughs> Yeah, Not minimally, uh, minimally. 50, okay. 60, 50 to sixty k lah. Sure. There, there about yeah. So for 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 resale, it's fifty to sixty and above. Okay. A lot of time it will hit and hit seventy to even eighty. Mm. Yeah, because re- one thing about resale is usually it's also larger space than BTO. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. So uh, yeah, homeowners when buying houses. For resale, mm. they need to factor in the, the renovation cost. It really uh, hit hit some homeowner quite a bit when they, 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 they thought like oh no I just you know uh, 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 refresh a bit you know of the of the home you know, and, and, and it will be good enough but usually you no. Know, and then there's that backlash lah because they already made a commitment with the OTP as well. Mm, 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 yeah. mm, mm. Correct, correct, correct. So that's uh that's one thing to look out to look out for lah. The budgeting the budgeting side. Okay. Yeah, and that that heaven adds in the uh furnishing, appliances. Mm. So resale, usually you need to put aside about eighty ninety k. For 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 the appliances and all that. For everything. Mm. For everything for renovation to the. All in uh, All in. All in. Yeah. Eighty or, ninety k. Yeah, if you want it to be nicely done up, can go up to a hundred k. So now also similarly with landed. Uh, mm. It is more catered towards um, people buying larger homes mm. with more family spaces, mm, mm. and a lot of these uh, move-in homes, right? Mm. Um, how much would they would you, would you expect for an ID to come in to assess for an A and A? Supposedly, mm. if there's nothing major, la. Nothing major. Mm. Okay, A and A submission. For what I know, the submission only yeah. will cost like. 20, 20 to 25k already that one is from the Aki, Aki side yes right? yes yeah. so just uh, uh, on the submission side sure. so haven't counted the ID mm-hmm. yeah so the ID side if say uh, for inter-terrace kind of housing then it would range about um, okay if really do up everything it would be about 200 to 350 mm. there about for uh, uh, inter, inter-terrace I always wondered. I always wondered. Um, for 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 landed right, how does uh, how does the QP, uh, the Aki mm. as well as the the mm. ID, how do y'all work in sync together? I'm in pretty sync. sure it's not easy, yeah. <laughs> because all three of y'all are very design centric as well. I mean, of course, one is a numbers person, lah. Yes, yes. Am correct. I right to say? Yeah, correct. So um, <laughs> I mean, luckily for our side, this this we still work quite well together. As in, they they still recognize that you no, know, we are. We are doing. We are the ID, mm. yeah. But we also need a lot of their support on the technical portion, on like you know, uh, uh certain uh areas. You know the the is, is this wall? Uh, are we able to hack this this wall? Okay. What are we able to do with this wall? The foundation the side. The, fo- okay. the foundation side of things. Mm. That's when we really need them, and they un- they they understand that, you know, they need to give us this support on the foundation side. Mm. Yeah, and then um, uh, on the design portion. 
they will they will also leave it to us. Yeah, because they know that you know the, the homeowners hires uh, hire us to do the ID portion. Yeah. Yeah. So uh I think it's a relationship thing. Like you know the 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 the, the, the QP and the architects, you know. So yeah. So we will uh, I mean luckily for us we work quite well together. <laughs> yeah. So there won't be a clash like I want to do that, you say, eh hey, no la, not nice la no I mean won't la <laughs> you know okay, okay. Yeah we still, still I, I we, we respect of course, we definitely need to uh, 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 listen to what the architect and our, our QP say. Like, hey, this one cannot. Like, I want to put, you want to put a wall here. You know, the, <laughs> the, the second level is going to collapse. You know, kind of thing. Yeah. Then, uh, of course, we will work. We will work around, around that. So I think for for them, uh, a lot, a lot of time is more about the the structural yeah. portion. Ours is really just aesthetic. That one is more M and E. Yes. Uh, Yes, yes, the yeah. aesthetic. The always more, yeah, a lot more on the aesthetic okay. por- portion, right. which they will they are fine to leave it to us. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So so has 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 the landed side, um, for trends, right? Mm. Um, since you you have mentioned about how Scandinavian might not, um, mm. apply or mm. rather look as nice. It's mm. the same thing as wearing a big shoe versus a small shoe versus a big shoe, right? So mm. this is my analogy because uh, uh. I'm a fan of uh, boots, okay. right? So what happens is. When I buy, when I look at the at, at the at the at the release, and it looks so nice, you know. But then, when I look and get it in my size, cause I'm a size twelve, oh. yeah, but it doesn't look very right. So oh yeah, because when it's yeah. smaller, it looks good. But when it becomes big, then it, it looks weird. Right. Oh yeah. yeah is it yeah, is it yeah, a correct yeah, yeah. analogy to apply to? Uh, something like that. Something like that. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Because when the space is is bigger, you need to um design it in a way that you know uh uh to use um, a dif- more different materials a lot more details um because a uh, larger space uh if you want to have like a statement piece a feature and yes. everything uh, uh sometimes a scandinavian look is very hard to achieve you know that that, that kind of look where, where you want to feel feel the space you know mm. that you have tall ceiling okay. you know you have big space so uh yeah i mean i mean it is it, it's, it's true so um usually for for landed clients uh we will uh same thing try to understand what kind of look and feel mm. the, the the client wants of course we do have client uh landed clients that love the minimalist style yes but mm. there's also a way to 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 do it mm. you know because of the of the space yeah yeah so I mean, this minimalist trend will always stay. I feel. But it's a yeah. niche, lah. It's yeah, niche. It, it, it's it's a niche. But the this minimalist trend sort of um, uh, turn into uh, instead of the the structure kind of like very straight lines, mm. clean look, it now change into something more soft, minimalist yet softer. So with the curves and uh, you know the. The, the curved walls you have four ceiling that's also like you know curved oh yes, yes. you know and everything so uh, um, it, it's going more on a, a softer minimalist approach rather than rather than the very structured uh, kind of minimalist yeah because I think it's uh, it's too it's too how to say it, it, it's not very welcoming la, right mm, and then uh, mm, a bit mm, too intimidating mm. in a way sometimes uh, maybe but I always believe that trends will come back it's always it's a, a cycle. It's la. a cycle. Yeah, that's correct, right. It's correct. like fashion. Yeah, 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 it's like fashion. So we, yeah. as far as we want to try to be timeless, yeah. but uh, uh, um, th- there's certain trends to certain things, yeah. but the, the, the main, the main uh, uh, concept, the main style will still be there, the minimalist look. Just that how, how, how it, it, it changes, you mm. know, like from the, the last time is the, the black and white minimalist. Oh, yeah, it feels yeah, very yeah. stuck, you know, the kind, the kind of look. And then now it trans... It, 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 it monochrome, trans- from monochrome now change. Yeah, now it yeah. becomes softer. So it's grey. Pastel, uh, a bit more pastel. Uh, grey, uh, nude, softer, then mm. curves, then um, minimum. Take note, take note. It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the, I, 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 I personally feel the minimalist uh, 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 trend will stay, but uh, how to say? Um, like just now we were in the landed portion. Uh, um, we, we, we still have uh, clients that 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 like the you know the more full luxurious kind of look. Mm. You know, so uh, um, that will uh. 
work also but I think it's the colour palette that 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 uh, will determine the kind of materials as well yes the material as well even though mm. it is luxurious but the colour tone is still more neutral than back in like you know maybe our par- parents day like <laughs> wow you know like all the, the grand chandelier gold you know that yeah I mean now there's still there's still a, a taste for backwash mm. uh, backwash and then uh, the, the, the textured brick Mm. walls and stuff like that for feature walls so it's always been it's always been mm. in now la, for the past few years or so mm, but I think the the brick wall is over, over <laughs> I yeah. don't know but I think it's been passing so well. yeah, yeah 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 so that, that, that's how I feel but uh, but still depending on the homeowner characteristic sometimes you know they still uh, it, it, it really speaks to them you yeah. know the the, the, the the type of materials that they are looking for yeah, so, uh, yeah, people are going, uh, especially for leather guys, they definitely would want to go for the, the quality luxury look. Mm. But uh, the color palette, like I say, uh, it, it really uh, uh, determines, you know, the, the, the whole look and feel, the, the how trendy it looks, but it's still luxurious. Yeah. Yeah. So with neutral tone, you can play with like stones, like um, gray marble, you know, that kind of thing. I think it's the material interplay that uh, can actually work also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct, correct. So anyway, correct. thanks so much for, for all your insight Thank on you. uh, materials from Lender. And I think just to summarize what we've covered also, mm, uh, mm. from review of uh, 2021's design and mm, anticipating mm. for 2022, mm. uh, we also covered on what Lemon Fridge can do mm. um, and what your offerings and the kind of, what is your inclination towards design? And as well as the advantages of getting an ID on board, mm. um, as well as other tips on budgeting, um, timeline, as well as uh, other tips on how to avoid, right, um, mm. uh, from condo, resale, HDB. Yeah. Right. So yep. once again, this is with, uh, with Renee Lim again. Thank you. Uh, from Lemon Fridge <laughs> Studio. And you're with Gary Lim from Property Lim Brothers for So Far So Good. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Thank you.